Hello and welcome back to Psychic Interactive. Thank you for being with us today. Hopefully you've had a great show as much as we have. If you've just joined in, if you've just joined us, and welcome. We've still got loads of time left, so plenty of time to get those questions answered about the psychic world. How you do it? You can either send us a text by putting in the words TV, leave a space, then your message and send it off to 87777. Or you can give us a call and leave us a live caller comment. You've got 30 seconds to leave us a comment, just like an answer machine message. And all you need to do is call 0905 652 1600. Please just speak slowly, clearly, leave your name, date of birth as well, really helps. And um, your question, and we'll play it out and get that answered today. Remember to log on to the website as well, if it's only just to have a good old gossip and gas in that chat room. It's www.psychic-tv.com. You can also see the list of all of our off-screen psychics. We've got Eric, Jane, Alison, Annie, Karen and Jill working for us today. They are doing a brilliant job. I know they've been very busy, but they're free at the moment. So make the most of it and give them a call on 0906 125 We've also got a lot of helplines now up on that website. We work promising it for quite a while so apologies it did take a while but we needed to do a bit of research about it so things like depression debt drugs any of those things if you haven't known where to go to for a bit of advice have a look on that website give them a call see if there's any information that's going to be useful there and please we'd like some feedback from you about this as well because we really want to build this up and offer some good services there we have got um Anonymous, Louise, will this relationship last? This is the one we've just done, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, then the one after that we did as well. So oh. we've got up to Sash. We did, up to Sash. Um, hi, Sash. Sash here. Hello, Sash. Will I get pregnant soon by my husband and will we become happier and closer? Date of birth, 21st of the night, 78. Um, in, in a word, yes. Um, the car that we've got for you is called um, the Aeon and it basically shows everything about families and about closeness and about how the two of you were best friends and then became um, a family and we've got all the little baby pods there that you can see filled with babies that are about to be um, ready to born and uh, to be born and we've got the blessings here of Nuit, goddess of the night so obviously that's connected with pregnancy and with Horus who's um, a god that sort of sort of it's, it's difficult to explain but it's sort of like a baby god like a child god mm -hmm. um, is the easy way to explain it so we've got absolutely everything there it's um, yes and a half yes you will have a baby oh congratulations sweetheart let us know what happens we've got a live call a comment hello hi my husband is his birthday is the 13th of the 8th 56 He's a bit sad at the moment. One doctor says he's got depression, another one says he's just got anxiety. I wonder if you can see anything about a, a new job or will he be staying in his same job he's in now? Thanks, bye. Right. Well, okay, well, we've, we've just done that one. But Maybe she we... left it again if she hadn't heard yeah. what we said, yeah. But what it came up is that best to stay in the same job because it showed a new job in a couple of years time but before that new job he'll need to do some studies or a course get an extra diploma that kind of thing so there's still a gap before the new job starts and we're mentioning about the depression lines being on the website now yeah please log on you know you need support as well because it can be quite difficult when you're giving all your time to someone as much as I'm sure you don't mind it's your husband but you've got to keep yourself strong too so get a bit of advice hopefully your GP has given you that anyway that's always a good first port of call, but otherwise we have got um, some helplines up on our website. It's www.psychic-tv.com. We're going to go to another live caller comment. Hello? Hi, I love the show. Can you tell me if my son's going to marry the girl he's with now, or if he's going to have a relationship with the girl he's met at work a month ago as their very good friends? The 20th of the 7th. 86. Bye. Love to you all. Thank you, sweetheart. Does your <laughs> mother or godmother manage your love triangles? <laughs> I wish you would. Yeah, that, I can't manage them. That well, is so unusual. <laughs> my my mum barely manages her own relationship, let alone <laughs> well with my dad. So, um, but yeah, let alone my 
intricate net of nothingness. <laughs> will will he stay with that girl or a girl with a girl that he just met? <laughs> well, sort of both. But he he is going to marry the um the girl that he's already intending on marrying. The new girl could be um a bit of a plaything for a little while, but either he'll leave the first girl, get together with this new one, realize that it really is just a very temporary thing, a three weaker weaker at most and get back with that one. Or best to save everybody the heartache, including you, that's obviously managing his love life save everybody the heartache and stick with the girl that he's with now who's so right for him. She's got a bit of a problem. She doesn't express her emotions. Hey. Join the club. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's Great Britain. That's, you know, that's what's done best here. Stiff up the lip. <laughs> we love it. Thank you for that. And I was just thinking, well, our godmothers don't get involved because we don't have love lives. Maybe they would if we got Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my, my grandmother's very keen to get involved. Yeah, and sort like, of, when you know, are you going to get involved? Very, very sad. <laughs> She's like, well, why don't you sort of go and find a nice Israeli student? And I'm like, I don't like Israelis. <laughs> and she's like, well, you can find a Jewish bloke. And I'm like, well, I suppose I could, but... Not going to uh, get yeah. it. <laughs> Anything. Oh, we've got Nick453 there. But then you're saying you're anonymous. <laughs> you have registered there, so well done. <laughs> um... Me and a very dear friend have exchanged very harsh words after a fallout. I miss her desperately. Will we kiss and make up? Me a Virgo, her a Pisces, same. How, this is about the third friends falling out text today, isn't it? You will definitely kiss and make up. And what's going to happen, that I don't know if that's the way it was before, but um, there's going to be no words spared, neither um, harsh nor soft ones during the making up and afterwards. You're always going to be very, very, very candid with each other from here onwards. So yes, you're definitely sort of going to be friends again. And you know, and more than that, very, very close confidants. Okay, sweetheart. So sometimes it's like any relationship, friends, lovers, whatever, you know, it can be really, you know, up and down. I think it's a sign of a good friendship. You know, if you can have a row, makeup means a good friend. Oh. I, I never talk to people after I row, <laughs> ever, ever. See, oh, I have, I've had terrible rows, like awful rows, some of my friends, and we absolutely violent to each other sometimes, but we always make up. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't want to remember that we, we keep, have a row. Keep in mind. <laughs> 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 Take notes, never row with him wrong. Um, Anonymous, it's Claire. Hello, Claire. Hi, Claire. Will Nick marry me and will we move? Right. Will Let's Nick see. marry her or not? <laughs> Well, it's a yes on the move and a no on the marriage. Um, he doesn't want to be married to anybody. It's not that he doesn't want to marry you, but he thinks that it means the end of his life. So many people feel like that, though. They really do. It's not, I mean, you know, you kind of have to respect it as well. Don't get into that trap of, oh, my God, he doesn't love me then because he won't marry me. Because some people just don't have the same... You know, beliefs about it as everyone else. The same attitude. Yeah, to exactly. Not even beliefs, the wrong word, but attitude, definitely. It's what you've seen at home, it's, partly, isn't it? And what you've seen on a big your white friend. wedding, and you know, but he may not have. So you've got to respect that, sweetheart. Thank you for that. Don't panic. Doesn't mean he doesn't love you. You can have a great house. And everything can change in the future. Exactly. We've got a live call to comments. Hello. Hi, it's Eva. Could you pick a couple of cards for me for my career? I'm a carer. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, oh Eva, you do a wonderful job, first of all. Saintly, and yeah. I love that name so as do well. I. I love that name, Eva. It makes you think of a saint or an angel, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, right, we've got beautiful cards it shows some more money coming in through your career but you don't need to retrain or change or anything just stick where you are they've already noticed you they're already very very impressed by you stick where you are for a while longer nearly a year but then there's a whole heap of money coming in some more um, now, it's more than caring that you do. You're also a sort of counsellor. You need to talk to people a lot, not just sort of do the physical stuff. And that's an important side of your career to develop. 
So um, I hope that makes sense, Eva. Sorry for that sort of slightly weird last sentence. Thank you very much for that, sweetheart. And again, you know, you do such a great job, everyone in your profession. So lots of love going out to you. If you'd like to leave a call or comment, the number's 0905 652 1600. And we have another one. Hello. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm a Sagittarian born 1959. I'm feeling really low at the moment. And um, I'm off work, not very well. Um, and I just wondered uh, if things are going to change my health wise and I have a daughter who's going to have a baby in March and if things are going to turn out okay, it'd be lovely. So it's just Okay, Sue, so thank you for that. So things are just getting a little bit overwhelming, I yeah. think it sounds like, which everyone goes through. I mean, the fact, you know, your daughter's having a baby, that's a responsibility for you. It's, you know, your baby's having a baby. And people do go, I mean, have you, have you seen a GP? Do you think you could be depressed? Oh, it's actually hard to ask someone that because I know it that is. I suffer from depression and never, because I was depressed, I didn't, it didn't register that I may be depressed. It wasn't until it was pointed out to me, so. But Sue has got incredibly good cards because it says that part of the problem is that she feels financially unsupported and there's some money that she's been waiting on for about six months that's coming in now and that's going to increase the sense of calm. She's not somebody that's really capable of depression because she does always see the bright side. So yeah. now, now for Sue to feel that things are getting on top of her is something that anyone else would have cracked months ago. But everything is going to go very much according to plan all of next year is going to feel a lot more soothed yeah a lot more sort of normal and um, calm and it's really just waiting for that money to come through it might not come before Christmas it might be just a couple of weeks after but it is in the post yeah it's yours all right sweetheart we'll be back after the break